Welcome to the final session in MVVM with Reactive UI in Xamarin Forms. Today we will talk about message bus. So what is message messaging bus? Simply, it's a publisher subscriber pattern to send messages between components of your project. So here we have pages, view models, models. So messaging pass allows you to send message <coughs> or messages of any type between these components, maybe from pages to view models, from between view models, models, whatever, like in general between two classes inside your project. Because message bus is a general uh, object that's defined when you start the application. So this mechanism, when a publisher like publish a message or send a message, it doesn't care about the subscribers, like who is listening for it. And also the listener also had the same situation. He just receives a message like of type string, regardless who is sending it. So it's a very good <coughs> mechanism, especially in some situations when you want to send objects or you want to send uh, some arguments between classes in a loosely cobbled way. You don't need these classes to be depending on each other. So let's move to Visual Studio and see how we can send a basic string message between two view models. So here I will go back a little bit to the navigation session when we have created the first view model and second view model with two pages, first page and second page. I'll go to AppStriber and set first page or first view model the base associated with the first view model to be launched at the, the beginning. So then I will go to the first view model and second one. Here, if you remember, we type something in the message and then we click go to the second page, then second page populated with a message. Inside the page of the second page, I will add a button here. I will call it confirm receiving margin of two and comment binding to confirm comment. So when I click this button, I will notify the first view model that, hey, I have received this message, for example. So here I will create comment, comment, confirm. It's good. Now let's initialize this here. Confirm comment equals create assembly very basic action that's going to send a message let's see how we can send a string message assembly we can say message pass dot current dot send message of type string the message is going to be received at and the current date time dot now okay that's pretty simple right we can move to the first view model here now as you can see i haven't defined who received this message assembly i can just publish this message anyone can subscribe and uh, receive that message so here inside the constructor i'm going to listen messagepass.current.listen to any string that's coming it's an i observable of type strings so simply i can subscribe or end the message then i can set the value of the message to the m i can filter the messages using the contract for example here can say 
like this. For example, this message is confirm, and here you can say only listen to the confirm messages, but for now I will leave it to anyone or any type. So simply let's start the project. Okay, here I will type something. Hello from first page. Click go to second page. Okay, here I have the button confirm receiving. I will click it now. Then simply this send a message. The first page received that. So if I go back, you can see received that uh, February 16, 2020 at 12. 54 a.m. So I simply send a message and I have <coughs> received it from anywhere. This approach is very useful in multiple places inside your code and with Reactive UI it's pretty pretty simple to you. Just send and receive. You can send any sort of objects like <coughs> not only primitive type like string, integer, boolean, you can also send objects view models, arguments like car, person, contacts, or whatever. That was everything you need to know about a messaging pass in Reactive UI. Don't forget to like and subscribe to AK Academy. And again, thank you so much for watching.